Hello, I'm hoping that you are having a good day. So today we are mainly these yellow flowers and I'm going to show you what mistakes I did and what you should do to avoid those mistakes. And usually I figure it out that usually I just have no patience <laughs> and that's the reason why I'm making mistakes nowadays too, like those mistakes that I have figured out. But first I'm going to sketch this little sketch of these yellow flowers and I'm just sketching these very simple flowers. Five petals and tiny tiny middle part of the flower and also some flower buds. I'm just drawing here and there those flowers. And I also added some leaves, and they are pretty tiny leaves, I think. I have something very exciting to tell you. So, if you are struggling with watercolor flowers and with the basics, then this watercolor flower guide is for you. You will learn from that the basics, how to paint a watercolor flower. If you feel like you just would love to be creative and paint beautiful watercolor flowers you just don't know why you're always doing some weird mistakes then the link is below this video on the description box so what you waiting for thank you for watching let's continue this video then you can mix some yellow and also I mixed some umber color which is pretty like cold brown color There you saw how it is looking on that practice paper. So use a separate paper so you can see if there's something you can you could change. Maybe you have too much water or not enough of water and too much color or the other side. 50-50 there should be kind of like there shouldn't be too much water or sh there shouldn't be too much color if you want that light color and you should start from the light side and I was doing another mistake that painted a light layer but then I didn't wait and added added some color on color that wasn't dry enough you must wait wait that the color is dry but remember that you should paint very light shade as you might see that there is next to this flower light yellow shade you can just keep continuing these flowers painting these flowers and see what i'm doing there and after you have painted your flowers you can or those petals you can add some other yellow color and use a little bit less water so you can get that thick yellow color and i used this very tiny brush so i can i can paint it more easily and also i added some umber color and i surrounded that middle part with that umber and it blended there nicely because the color the yellow color was a little bit wet still and i also used that same yellow color for these stamens. With this flower I was painting too many lines and you can see it looks a little bit weird because of that. And when it comes to watercolor leaves you saw there that there is way too much color here you see. <laughs> so you should paint a lighter shade with lighter shade and then wait it to dry and then paint a little bit more darker shade but but not with too dark shade because it will be a super muddy and when it comes to these stems i just painted with a little bit more thicker paint more and not thinking about it too much now it's starting to be ready and I want to thank you for watching this video 
and don't forget to check out the watercolor flower guide that I created for you. The link is below this video on in the description box. See you in my next video. Bye bye!